The Pulse of the Program series continues as we go to Arkansas. And Sam Pittman and his boys got that jukebox going. A lot of excitement. A 9-4 and four season last year after going 3-7 and seven in 2020, which was his first year. There's a lot of juice. There's a lot of juice in, in Arkansas right now, and for good reason. So you know how this works. The Pulse, the program, we take a pulse internally. The people that get it done on Saturday, the people in that locker room who play between the white lines, take a pulse of the fan base. I'll give you my thoughts after that. Internally. The pulse at Arkansas is bought in because they've seen it now. They've seen what it's like to buy into Sam Pittman's process, to his culture, to the way that he does things, and they've seen some ROI. Because in 2020, like I mentioned, they were 3-7, and seven, similar to how I think Nebraska is going to be this coming year, one of the better 3-7 and you know, one of the better three and seven teams in the country at that point in time, and the schedule was brutal. And they said, okay, let's, you know, pick up the pieces, weird year, COVID year. Let's get back together on this thing. They believe in the process. Like, that, like I said, they buy in. 2021, they pop. Nine wins. And so now there's no questioning the way that Sam Pittman does things. If they had a four-win season last year, if they had, you know, let's, let's even say a five-win, six-win season, maybe you're saying, okay, this kind of has some teeth to it. Maybe we can adjust this and find a way to get it, you know, headed the right direction. But to win nine games with the schedule that they played a year ago, Folks, they are drinking the Kool-Aid in Arkansas. And what I love so much about it, they're doing it their way. Like they're doing it with KJ Jefferson running behind these big boys. They're doing it with the explosive play off that, with playing tough defense. They're doing it in a sense that's very much on brand for Arkansas. They're not worried about spreading you out and, and scoring 50 a game. They're doing it the Arkansas way. And it's not just in the locker room. The coaching staff is also buying in. Because you got two coordinators in Kendall Bryles and Barry Odom that both could have taken other jobs this past offseason. And quite frankly, I think Sam Pittman would tell you this, they earned the right to take other jobs if they had wanted to. They were ready to take on other jobs if they had wanted to. They both stayed. Even more so, they both cited Sam Pittman as the reason to why they stayed. And that speaks volumes to your head coach. Anytime a head uh, you know, assistant coach doesn't take another job. There's always other storylines with, hey, wasn't the right fit for me out there. I didn't think I was ready yet. That wasn't the sentiment that either of these guys talked about. They're like, no, I believe in Sam Pittman. I believe in Arkansas. There's something special here. I want to be a part of what he's building towards. That's a big deal. So Brad, or excuse me, Arkansas is built to do some good things again in 2022. And that's what the pulse of the fan base is. Because for a long time, Arkansas was saying, I mean, there, there were murmurs even, do we belong in the SEC? I mean, what, what are we doing here, folks? After the Chad Moore season, things were really low. It was, you know, it was doom and gloom. Sam Pittman comes in, and a lot of people thought they got the right guy, even after the 3-7 and seven season. But now, after that nine-win year, the pulse of the fan base is we got our foot in the door. So now let's do something about it. And I respect the Arkansas fan base so much because they still have realistic expectations. Talked to somebody pretty close to the program, and he said, hey, if we win seven games, people aren't going to be up in arms just by nature of how tough this schedule is. I mean, you open with Cincinnati. This is a non-conference game, and it was a playoff team a year ago. You got BYU. So Arkansas... Is, is very much ready to get after it this coming season. There's a lot to be excited about in Fayetteville. The ceiling for Arkansas in-house, the feeling is at least, hey, 10-2. and two. For the fan base, if, if, if we go 10-2, and two, we're excited about that. Now, the expectation is eight wins. Eight wins is a healthy season for Arkansas. Now, my own personal diagnosis is, why not? Why not go 10-2? and two? Why not go 10 and 2 if you're Arkansas? There's a lot that you have in place right now. You got four of your five offensive linemen back. You got KJ Jefferson, one of the better quarterbacks in the SEC, if not the country. Similar to Arkansas, plays his own brand of football, and I love it. I love watching that dude get downhill and just run over linebackers. What's, what's stopping you? You got a lot of tools. You got Jaden Hazelwood, who is in theory supposed to step in and replace Traylon Burke, and I think he has the chance to do that. 
but they're built to be able to build off what they did a year ago. There's no reason why they have to step back to eight games, seven games. I Again, the schedule is not kind. The schedule is not kind by any stretch of the imagination. But there's no reason why they have to take a step back right now. Arkansas, foot's in the door. Let's kick that thing down. Be a continual player in the SEC. They got the guy to do it in Sam Pittman. KJ Jefferson, like I said, he's coming back. Kick the door down. That would be my diagnosis for Arkansas football as it stands today. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.